The reason why we haven't been seen together for three years is because the restraining orders. That we all have <laughs> I mean, because then you have to go to Europe for crying. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of GalaxyCon Live, where we are bringing the convention experience directly to you. Today we head north of the border and chat with our friends from the hit television show, Lost Girl. Let's meet our guest. First, she is a veteran of film, television, stage. You know her as Bo Dennis. Please help me welcome at this time, Anna Silk. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here. I, I'm excited to have you here. Now, I, I mentioned, uh, you know, being north of the border, but I, I think you might be the only one who is actually not. Well, I think we might have a couple, but that's not in Canada at this moment. I'm not in Canada. No, I'm in. I'm in California at the moment. How's how's everything out there? It's good. It's sunny and beautiful, and all, all the good things about California. Is, but so but I very, miss very Canada different. all the time. Canada is always close to my heart. I, I get you, but California, Southern California, is hard to beat. It's kind of beautiful. All right, you want to you want to bring out some of our uh, some of our guests? Yes, I'm so Let's excited. Do it. All right, you know her as Kenzie. Please help me welcome at this time, Ksenia Solo. Woo! Hi guys. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Milo? I'm I'm doing I am doing great now that you are here. Now you are also not in the Canada right now, correct? Correct. I'm in Europe, so it's 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 uh, evening time for me and and daytime for you guys. So oh, what what time is it out there? Um, it's like eight p.m. You know, okay, early hour. This, right. when the, know, this is when this is when the party like starts. This is when the Lost Girl party starts. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Let's bring out some more of our guests. Please help me welcome at this time. You know him as Dyson Thornwood. Please help me welcome Chris Holden Reed. Hello. I keep Hello. forgetting he had a last name. I know that actually, I was like, Hello. what? I'm no. Mr. Thornwood. Could you please report to reception? Mr. Thornwood. Is that your that? That was your last name. How well, are we just, just call me DT? Oh, hey, DT, what's up? 20 years Wait, later, it is, is breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Learn a something. Fan fiction maybe created that Michelle of is rolling in her great uh, rolling over right now. And she's <laughs> well, you know, you don't believe everything on the internet, but you know, <laughs> believe this. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, bring out our next guest. Please help me welcome Lauren Lewis, Zoe Palmer. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. I just found out that Dyson has a last name and <laughs> Michelle has just is deceased. So, <laughs> I, I was just back there. The the swing of emotion. I was like, what? What? <laughs> Michelle Lebreda is alive and well. She is very well. And and uh <laughs> And she's turning over. I just That's don't think right. it's her frame. She's classically rolling her eyeballs. Yeah. If she's watching this, she's definitely, you know. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. Yeah, Zoe, how, how are you, uh, I guess, this afternoon, morning? I don't know. Where, where, I don't where, know. What time? I don't know ever what time it is anymore. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm, and I'm great. Yeah, can't complain. Looking good, looking good over there. Thank you. So, Let's bring out some more of our guests. Please yes. help me welcome at this time William Hale Santiago, KC Collins. What, what are these names? Are you, are you people? That is hilarious. I also forgot I had an, another name other than Hale. <laughs> and that made me William Hale Santiago. That made me feel like I was being scolded by my father again. <laughs> wow. That's right. That's great. William Hale Santiago, I said, get in this house right now. Right? right. How's everyone? Hey. 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 hey, brother. I see my castmates again. Look at you. Look at y'all. Uh, yeah. Casey, how about are you 10 doing, years man? Amazing. Oh, uh, fantastic, Milo. You know, Milo is actually a drink in the Caribbean. It's one of my favorite drinks. This is like a, a, a chocolate drink, right? Right. That's right. That's really good. That's right. Everyone go get you some Milo. Uh, yes, 
and lock the drink. Your door, man, lock your door. They might take it the wrong way. Lock your door. <laughs> All right. Uh, this next guest, I'm just going to do one name because I'm not going to mess this one up. So please help me welcome this time. You know her as Ebony. Please help me welcome Emmanuel Vaughn. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, Bojay. 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 Did I get that quote? Bojay. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, you know, that's a real mouthful. It's Ebony Florette Marquis, I think it was. I, I think, think it was, was, yeah. How could I yeah. forget that? And then... And you definitely have the largest two handle. Two together, just bad combo. Yeah. <laughs> or you know, great, I, I, I don't I know. I get paid to get the names right, so I don't want to get them wrong. <laughs> more again, more again. Oh more my God. Again. <laughs> All right, so we have one more guest to bring out. Please help me welcome, you know, almost Trick. Please help me welcome Rick Howlin. Yeah. Did you guys know Trick has a full name too? The Trick actually, yeah, he's got the most impressive full name. Can you remember it, Rick? Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Fitz, uh, Fitzpatrick McCorrigan. The blood of the kid. clan. Of the clan something. <laughs> but it, it Somebody the out there knows. Yeah, I, I think you, yeah, I think you hit it right on the head. So when was the last time you guys all saw each other? Ooh. In person? Uh, a <laughs> well, long time in person. Yeah. When was the last Dragon Con? That was three years, three years ago, ago, at least. Uh, yeah. Wasn't it 2018? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. that was the last time we all saw each other. It was yeah, well, there was the most yeah. amount of us. Yeah. 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 The, most, the most amount of us in one. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but that's... <laughs> That's the most. Yes. <laughs> That's what I do when there's a lot of people together. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen these faces in so long. I know. Well, we are we are certainly happy that we are able to bring you all together. I know there's a, a, a ton of people waiting on the line with questions, but I, I just have to ask real quick. You know, it's been what six years since the the show, and people are still clamoring for for more Lost Girl. What do you guys think attributes to that, you know, desire to, you know, the, the longevity of this show. Hmm. Who wants to jump in? Go ahead. Uh, yay. Who? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. I don't know. I mean, I I we're all being so <laughs> polite. Imagine. Being like, I, no, yeah, I know. Imagine. It's because we haven't seen each other in so long. I feel weird. But um, I think that we were brilliant. That's just the, the bottom line. <laughs> Um, I think that we were a groundbreaking show at the time that it came out. And um, I think that the, the writing was there, the casting was there, the chemistry was there. And we told really honest stories in a new, brand new world. So that's there. That's what I think. Mm. <laughs> here, here. People answer, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. fact that we all really disliked each other was a really it amazing helped. polar chemistry that worked on. It was like electricity. It was just like, yeah. are they going to kill each other right now? The friction was palpable. Yeah. <laughs> well said. Well said, ZP. Every day I'd go to set one wondering, who am I going to fight with today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> who do I hate the most? Yeah. I mean, yeah. In season six, we all had, we were armed with taser guns. You, know? yeah. Yeah. you had personal security. <laughs> It was like onset laser tag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm kind of scared because I feel like there's a little bit of truth behind, you know. Uh, oh yeah. Behind this. <laughs> Watch well, out! The, the reason why we haven't been seen together for three years is because the restraining orders. That we all have <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, because then you have to go to Europe for crime. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, I'm out of here. And you can't, you can't yet live like on Mars. So she like went to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to go to Mars. Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't yeah. take me. A couple more years. That, couple more that years. about sums it up, my yeah, love, for, for why it worked. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys ready for some fan questions? Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Our first question is. What was your favorite memory on set? Thank you, Natasha. Hmm. Ooh, it's hard. I, I mean, I'm, we, we want to let's so try to do like let's go clockwise. So we'll sure. start with uh, Anna, work our way around. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, favorite put, memory. Put you on the I spot. mean, it's I can't think of one favorite because. 
I just remember how much we laughed, how much we cared, uh, how much we looked out for each other. I don't know. I, I just have, to, it's just all good. It's all good. I don't have one specific one. Although Chris just held something up and it reminded me of the time he came into a scene with his pants down. <laughs> Wasn't that every scene? We're not supposed to yeah. be down, by the way. Uh, playing guitar. That's all I remember. I just had a flash yeah, of that. I'm just doing a little, um, you know, selfie for everyone. Do you guys, you guys remember, we've, we've talked about this a lot over the years, but the body switching episode was like, oh yeah, that was awesome. just really stood out. We were all so confused there for a minute and it felt like it was like an acting boot camp and it was just so thrilling and, and crazy. And we hadn't done obviously anything, you know, like that before. And so that episode definitely definitely stands out to yeah we me. were all so all in our little teams and like we would work through mannerisms with each other and we were all locked in one location we're all in the bar one and one so, room like, for the whole time I totally. remember. so like anna and michael would be over at the bar working on there ksenia and i would be like by the pool table working on our mannerisms zoe and uh, i can't remember that guy's name but they were like i never met him so yeah awesome. zoe was just watching a video of him going <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like I had to extrapolate from my 19 second video. That's right. <laughs> Casey, Casey had to do a British accent. Yeah, Casey yeah. with Lena. God, yeah, and Lena. I, was, I, was like, yeah, I don't know how to great. do this accent. Yeah. <laughs> what I what I truly what I truly enjoyed about that whole thing was the support system we had. We just supported yeah. each other so much through that. Um, you know what we felt at first was a bit of a debacle. But, <laughs> It was amazing the way it turned out. I love. Yeah. I think that was the thing on the show in general is that we genuinely had each other's backs. Oh yeah, for sure. You felt that. You felt that all the time. I did anyway. Yeah. 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 The body switching episode was great. Mm -hmm. uh, slapping name tags on everyone for the name of who they were being embodied by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And drawing drawing that circle at the end, which I mentioned last time. Uh, <laughs> that I did so poorly that made Casey crack up for Oh, that's what Casey lost his shit, right? Yeah. When like, he started doing the grandma well, life, right? Yeah. It was like Rick had never seen a circle. Yeah, no, it was, well, I was so close to the circle while I was drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was hard yeah. to go around and around. And I, I'll never I feel like it was a, night. I feel like it was a bit of a long day too. So I think that's why oh. I, I lost it as well. Cause we were just, yeah, yeah, we were giddy. We were, we were giddy. We were pushing 18 hours. It was three o'clock in the morning, and like yeah. Rick's doing this thing, and Why all of a sudden sure we just me? hear this noise. We didn't even know it was like, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's Casey just like oh, get all it together. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's oh, me. That and then we all just lost. I remember there was tears. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember who directed that. Was it Paolo? But I remember it was, it was just, no, it was I Steve DeMarco. Oh, well, it was DeMarco. Uh, oh, was it DeMarco? No, it wasn't a DeMarco. I, I thought it was Paul Fox. Maybe it was. Anybody got IMDb open? Dale Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tino. That's it was right. Tino. <laughs> Definitely. Was, Tino. Oh, yes, I remember oh, him. He just piped up. Difficult like, director. <laughs> Uh, Emmanuel, Sorry. you have uh, any, any memories? Um, none. No. <laughs> none. Okay, moving on. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I, uh, I, Not I, a one. I wasn't in that episode, but um, but one of my favorite and fond memories. I mean, there's so many. Like every time we were on set together, it was fun. But uh, the the dancing episode where where Paul controls me and you know does that was that was fun. Just I mean, it was exhausting and. <laughs> Much like the body switching thing, where it just like it went on and on and on, we just shot. You the crap were out amazing of it. in that episode. You were so brilliant. I was just gonna, yeah, yeah. say Slow about down. that scene as well. Like, I think just one of the best scenes on the show as a whole ever. Totally. Like, really? just yeah, no, my, my no favorite. <laughs> if there's anyone out there who hasn't seen Lost Girl, find that episode. Emmanuel Vogue dancing in her dancing. underwear, controlled by <laughs> Paul Amos. It is worth however many hours it takes to get there. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's very kind of you to say. No, it's true. <laughs> no, so that was that was fun. But I, you know, like I said, I think you know every day that we were on set together, we just had 
there was always something. So there's too many moments to really pick one is like, oh God. <laughs> I'm really oh, sorry. I remember Anna and I talking about this once about you, Emmanuel. And we were sitting aside uh, somewhere and we I always for the whole show was impressed by your ability. You would sit back and have a conversation all chill and then get up, do a scene, nail it. I know, I know. <laughs> Drop out of character and just ca carry on whatever conversation we were having before the take. And it was like, it was like acting was the easiest thing in the world for you. I don't know what you were going through, but from an outsider's perspective, it was like the most relaxed thing ever. You would go on set, do your amazing thing, and then come sit back down and go, what were we talking about? And we were both like, Jesus, how did she do that? I know. Yeah. I know. It always blew me away and deeply intimidated me. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> it was very impressive. Very, yeah. It was something to aspire to. That's good casting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Our next question comes from Serenity. Who has been your favorite villain on the show? Oh. Max? I know, well, I yeah. Know. I mean, it's got to be Paul, but like he morphed, right? He he was in the beginning the baby killer controller, and then he became like the mascara putting on sort of buddy. In the, <laughs> just like, so is he the bad guy? <laughs> I love Salvatore. Yeah. Oh, as the lich. Oh, yes. Yeah. He was great. He was awesome. He, he did was a great fantastic. Yeah. Great yeah. Yeah, we had some great. Um, we had some great guest stars. That, yeah, we did. You know that yeah. was, that was incredible. Yeah. But I mean, mine, mine is going to be. It's going to be the more do. So. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Guys, what about the Garuda? The Garuda. What about the Garuda? Never yeah. thought I'd say that word again. <laughs> your quota is filled for, the, for your life. It's just like a tennis ball in my head. It's still a tennis ball. Yeah, the Garuda, exactly. Yeah. Flying tennis ball. Yeah. With DeMarco in his helmet, in his wheelchair, with the A-team song playing in the, in the, on the... At 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. No. Getting the Garuda. Oh, my yeah. God. We're all in just looking arbitrary. at a tennis ball. Yeah. But, our, yeah, our guest stars were always... So good, yeah. And so prepared and so like game. You know, they were just so game. They showed yeah. up ready and they were excited to be there. And so yes. they gave us yeah. so much. Absolutely. Yeah. It was always fun too because like a lot of them were from the theater world and it, you know in yeah. Toronto and so like they'd come in and they'd walk in the lair and be like, Marty, how are you? Because mm. you hadn't seen them in ever, you know, for a long time. Or yeah. Yeah, the woman who played the Norn in season one was really good too. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, she was. Yeah. 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 All right. Our next question comes from Gene. What was your what is your favorite genre to perform in? Yeah. I thought that for a second I thought that was gender. I was like, well, that's a really forward thinking <laughs> question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would that be for you, Chris? <laughs> well, Ksenia. I mean Kenzie, obviously. I mean, that was the most fun ever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I never know how to answer this question because it's not, I never um, am drawn to anything by its genre. It's always the script, the character, the story. You know, I think if the story is strong and the character is developed, whatever genre you're in. Yeah. It's a bit like what's your favorite color of? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do have a love of period pieces, I must admit. Yeah. Um, this, whatever period just gives you, you know. For some reason, when it's when it's a little bit back in history, there, there's there's you can you, you can draw from more. When it's contemporary, even though we're living in it, um, I don't know. I find it more difficult to create like a character, like a, a rooted character. I don't know. It sounds that sounds strange, but I love period. No, it makes sense. Know. Yeah, yeah. I'm with. I'm sort of with Zoe. I feel like it's it's like colors in a sense for me that. It changes. It's like, oh, okay, all right. Today I feel like I love blue, you know? Um, so today I feel like I love drama. Uh, but, you know, I might be watching a slew of action films and all of a sudden I feel like, yeah, oh, yeah I'm, I just yeah, I'm, Patrick I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I want to do action. I love, you know? So it just depends. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I agree. Same thing that Zoe said, just sort of, it depends on, uh, it's, yeah, from project to project, it could be anything as long as it's a compelling character and story and, um, and also the cast too, um, that, you know, who you're surrounded with and get to play, play with. So that, yeah, I think it's, that stuff's more important than necessarily the, the genre. But I mean, if you look back to even Shakespeare, the stories are all the same, right? It's, it's tension, it's love, it's, it's, you know, all of that stuff, right? It's, it's, the stories are all the same, even on Lost Girl yeah, as a sci-fi show. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. kind of you're telling these stories about humanity, right? Yeah, in, oh yeah. In whatever period and whatever genre. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like, I feel, I mean, I feel the same as Zoe. <laughs> Um, we're all afraid of Zoe, by the way. We have to agree with her. <laughs> I'm sitting on my couch in Toronto. You don't need to be afraid. <laughs> we're not afraid of Zoe. Um, I agree with Zoe. And um, what was nice about Lost Girl and the sci-fi world is, you know, we have a large bandwidth to tell these hu human stories or these stories with human elements in them. You know, we we really had a lot of room to play, which is kind of a fun genre to play in for sure. Yeah, Lost no, it's, like it's October. Yeah. It's spooky season. Are there any horror movie fans out there? Yeah, I love horror. Yeah, I love horror movies. Yeah. What's your what's your what's your go to you know Halloween time horror movie? Oh, it's always Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, it's always Halloween. It's always Michael. What's the oh, guy who God. comes into your dreams? Freddy Krueger. Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street. Street. Love those. <laughs> My my idea of a oh horror. Oh my god! Ah, go. uh, <laughs> yes. To put it in perspective for that me, my lot. idea of a horror movie is like Princess Bride. That's about as horror as you, as I get, you know. <laughs> that shrieking eel scene is like, whoa, that really gets me every time. Oh, absolutely. What about the yeah. ROUSs? Oh, yeah. Rodents of unusual size. <laughs> Rodents I don't think they exist. <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> 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 That's such a good movie. That's the best. I know. I'm a big All fan right. of the supernatural type stuff, like the, oh, the supernatural, yeah, you know, or Amityville horror. Although I don't watch them, well, I, I'll watch them, but then I can't sleep, and yeah. that's not good. I'll do the leap yeah. from the bed, like like there's. Do you do it like room. this? Yeah. <laughs> In the middle of the night, or I just don't want to get up to go to the bathroom because I'm afraid that there's something hiding under my bed. Yeah, I'm too scared. I've, I've yeah. watched a lot of age inappropriate movies as a kid. Like I, you know, I watched like The Omen and The Changeling and The Exorcist and all those movies, and totally. they still bother me. Yeah, no, they lot. fucked me up as a kid too. My yeah. two, I had two half brothers when I was like eight years old. They sat me down when they were babysitting me, and they made me watch American <laughs> Werewolf in London as an eight-year-old. <laughs> I ran out of the room just like terrified during the yeah. marsh scene, and like. For 10 years after, we moved to a farm quickly after that, I would have to go out and feed the horses in the darkness, and I would arm up. I had yeah. a hatchet, I had kitchen knives, I had the dog. I just was terrified of werewolves for a solid decade. Until you played one on TV. Until you played one. Yeah, yeah no, I, that's what I channeled. That's how you Dyson. get over all those that's, things. That's why Dyson was so angst-ridden all the time. He's like, yeah, he's so scared of his, his, his inner puppy. <laughs> I was gonna say, channel your inner fear. Right. <laughs> All right. Our next question. Our next question comes from Debbie. Uh, what was your favorite scene to shoot? Good Lord. That's a tough well, one. I mean, again, we can go back yeah. to the body swapping, like doing all that stuff. That was like Kenzie was mm -hmm. fantastic for me. But I mean, there were so many other good scenes. I, I will try to think of another. For me, it was. Oop. <laughs> For me, it was uh, for me. For me, it was the end. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead, Emmanuel. Just I'd like. Well, this is easy for me that um, being able to ride a horse on. You know. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, just bring all my favorite things into one little package <laughs> and drop it on set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember. I had, uh, sorry, Rick. I had a lot of sorry. I had a lot of fun on uh, the end of season two with the Garuda. Uh, we we're in like a drive-in, and uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't—I didn't get oh, yeah. to a chance to, to shoot on location very often. I was always in the bar or in my lair, which were always great scenes. Um, but that one was, uh, you know, to just—I I felt like the lead of the show that 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 episode because it was all about 
trick in the Garuda. And it was like to be there mm -hmm. with all the special effects. And this guy uh, who played the Garuda was just a huge presence. Um, mm -hmm. So it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I remember when we had um, our, God, what episode was it? It's so hard to take like so many years and so many episodes and remember when we went to the, to the a farm and we like, um, God, oh, when you guys were all in like, um, like cherry festival, Gingham, you were in Gingham yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I just remembered that episode and, yeah. and, and like the, the, in the gas station and how, just how like out of yeah. place Kenzie and Bo were, I don't know. There was something really, I think that was actually two oh. six. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm pulling that out of my ass because 205 was the Dyson flashback scene where he was all oh, in the yes. old world, where he was yes. speaking in Scottish and all that. And I remember that I was exhausted and messed up after it. And you guys, I wasn't in that 206 episode because it was all in that world. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> I don't, I mean, oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. No, go ahead, Anna. Well, I was going to say that I, like, recently um, a friend of mine here asked me to come in for a night. She teaches an acting course here. And she asked me to come in. She was doing a sci-fi night. So she wanted me to come in and bring Lost Girl scenes. And um, so I had to go through and look. And I collected, like, nine scenes. And there were so many good scenes that we did. And I looked at the Cherry Festival episode because I took some from there. I took the Morgan's intro scene where, or where she explains what the Fae are. It's so good. I mean, like there's mm. just so many great, great scenes. So many Bo Lauren scenes, Bo Dyson scenes. I mean, it was like, it was just so fun. And it was so fun to watch the young actors, you know, <laughs> it was hard for me to be like, that's not how we did it. <laughs> that was not why I was there, but it was so inspiring to see their interpretation of something. Well, so they did some of the scenes. They did the scenes, and I had to, nice. to talk about it and give them some ideas. And um, but it was, you know, it was good to kind of get out of their way and see what they brought to it and see a different idea. But for me, I got to revisit so many great memories uh, in putting yeah, that yeah, together. Yeah. So there was just so much. In fact, sometimes I forget. It was like it was an embarrassment of riches, really, to be on that show mm. because we had too too much good. It was, yeah, it was we we were very very we fortunate. It was a lot of fun. A lot of yeah. fun. Hey, Solo, you remember the end of season one when we did the? Uh, I think we were like in the infirmary or whatever when we did the handshake. Yeah. yeah. And that was one of my favorite scenes, just because it was season one. No one knew. Yeah, we tried so around. hard to look cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> we created that and, we, you know, it was great. Yeah, yeah. I, I had a good time doing that one. Yeah. Oh, thanks for reminding me of that, about that one. That was a great one. What, was that the foot soup episode? Mm -hmm. Remember foot soup? Foot soup was out? awesome. But uh, soup soup was awesome. I remember. <laughs> Did you ever <laughs> yeah, perfume in your mind. mouth? You yes. got to tell us, Chris. Yeah. You got to tell us because clearly you, you've been <laughs> this. You have this all Real yeah. recently. Oh, no, I know. I know. Oh, I, I love that you too. I loved the episode not where Trick dies, obviously, but when when Trick dies, which where Hale dies, you like that? Is that what you're gonna say? You like that? that? Let her finish. Let her finish. <laughs> what? It's no, I not... thought you were gonna say where Hale dies. Not oh, where, where Hale dies. dies. Where Hale dies. I never love it when people die. No. But go ahead, finish. Um, I loved when when the next episode, what it sparks, it Bo goes into this like catatonic state. Um, and I just loved that we went into the Wizard of Oz type stuff. I thought that was a really fun sequence for me. Oh, you mean for me personally to shoot? Um, I also got to lay in bed for a while. <laughs> I talk about that all the time. I got to be in a, a coma for a few days. Was that the one where I had the, the prosthetics and the fake hands and I was like, Are you talking yes. that one? <laughs> yes, and I was like Dorothy from the Wizard of and Oz. I was a stoner. Huh? Ah, yes. Can I <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's right. You were the stoner girl. Yes. That episode to me was. And you got um, to do some Jamaican, right? I think it was so. Oh, yes, but it was yes. also so. It was so heartbreaking, as well. That episode. I just. I thought it was a really good episode. I had dreads. You did. I know. Mm. You were hilarious. You know, I kept those fake uh, prosthetic gloves for years, and I would like wear them at Halloween. I actually did a whole photo shoot where, with them, yeah, where it was with like. Yeah, I was like shaving. <laughs> in the tub. In the tub with TJ Scott. Yeah, yeah. 
Which I like that. Yeah, TJ Scott. So TJ does these in the tub uh, for uh, oh, yeah. books for uh, breast cancer support. Mm. And uh, yeah, so. I like that Chris is like the episode guru. He's like, well, what about the time when this? Don't you yes. remember this? That it's so different than on set. <laughs> Maybe yeah, on memory. set it's Rick. Rick knows everything yeah. on set. Now, uh, I mean, Chris brings up uh, a, a great topic, and that is, I don't want to say steal or take, but did anything on set happen to end up with you in your possession at the end of the show? I ended up with a lot of my you, wardrobe. We'll have to kill you. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I ended up with a lot of my wardrobe because nobody else could wear it. So. <laughs> It and it was perfectly else, tailored but, to you. Yeah, and yeah. it fit me nice, yeah. like this shirt, for example. Um, but yeah, they yeah. offered me the, the my book, but it was like, I, I, it was huge and very heavy, and it was like I, I can't I can't move that around the world. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you guys hold on to it, lock it up. It's fine. I have two things. One is from your bar, Rick. I stole um, a bottle of. We, his bar was amazing. Like they had such great production design uh, of elephant blood. And it's just, it's such a beautiful old antique label. It's got the cork in it. And I was just like, I'm going to take elephant blood. But I also took Dyson's bracelet. And uh, that's, I've always meant to get it like. Oh, yeah, that bracelet, you had that bracelet on you all the six time. Six years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a funny story behind it too. But... Did anyone yeah. take the pickled eggs? No, I was just thinking oh, no. about that. No, no, no. open it though on the last night, and it was uh, surprisingly not bad. The end of season one, because we didn't know if we were coming back for season two. We never really knew, you know, from season to season. And Dan, our sound guy, who I always just adored, stole this for me and had it framed. <laughs> it was the last oh, night. Nice. Oh, the last awesome. one. Wow. The, yeah, the last scene of season one. Oh, oh season my God, that's one. the actual. Yeah, that's amazing. That's great. Wow. June 25th, 2000. Wow. It's nice, man. It's really nice. Except for snitching on Dan and he'll never get another job. Thank you. He's in New Zealand on his boat. Right on. I know. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> That's wow. Good. That's Whoever just amazing. pulled that up. That well is amazing. Done. That's amazing. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. It's the only one you could show for a family audience, I guess. <laughs> That's right. It's true. The rest are full frontal. Yeah, because Lost Girl was so PG. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our, our next question uh, comes from uh, uh, Brianna G. Who is most likely to prank or play a joke on the rest of the cast? That's easy. Steve yeah, DeMarco. That's easy. Chris. <laughs> well, Amos used to get everyone to eat spicy peppers. Yeah. yeah. That was that's at a Comic Con yeah. as well. That was his thing. Chris was most likely to come in your scene half naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for no good reason at all. I don't There's like clothes. There's a good reason for Chris to come into the scene. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I look no, good back there. I wouldn't do it now. If we ever work together again, there's no coming and naked. <laughs> Those days are behind you, are they, Chris? Those days are behind me. I see. <laughs> Emphasis on behind. That's, yeah. that's disappointing. That is disappointing. Yeah. Um, Zoe, Zoe always made me laugh so much, and then she could pull it together, and I couldn't. Yeah. I, so I think, like, it was totally. tough, but hilarious. Zoe was always the one cry, just like, you know, she has an unbelievable wit. And so on mm -hmm. set, you know, it was hard for us sometimes to hold it together because her just dry acerbic wit would rip the scene apart. And it was amazing in yeah. the best way. And then I had to like be the most serious character on the show. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but we weren't right. really a lot of pranksters. Like you hear stories no. about like, you know, a lot of other sets pranking each other. There's we, not a lot of time for that really, is there? Yeah. Though? No. You yeah. can't, you know. You're going, you're going quick. Yeah. Oh yeah, TV's fast. Yeah, it's super fast. And we also just loved our crew too much to, 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 yeah. like, to put them through anything. Yeah. All right, our next question 
comes from Philip. Uh, great question. What was your favorite set or location to film at? Hmm. I liked what was it? Wasn't it a slaughterhouse that we did? Oh, oh that album. Yeah, 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 I liked that. I liked it. You I liked, liked that? It. I did. I liked it. I sort of. I liked you it. You and I yeah. bought into that room. What do you like? <laughs> That's why. Just send them old blood. I like yeah, it. I know. I really you'd, kinda, you'd, you'd sit there going, is that, was that set deck or is that actual yeah. blood from something? Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Casey, Remember. did you, I let know. me ask you this. The did vegan you have likes to put your house, I know. face on the floor? Did you have to put your face on the floor while they were blowing a fan in it? No. No, you oh, no, 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 no. No, absolutely not. I left that, <laughs> I left that to Anna Silk. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, I still, I'll never forget us all lying on the street with you standing <laughs> on the camera. Oh, the camper. super suck? This yeah. Yeah. Like, there was something about that day that was just like next level. Oh, well. I just we were face down on the road. Yeah. <laughs> and I also, like, are you talking about like when we showed up to set? It looked like a Tom Cruise movie. Yeah, <laughs> they had destroyed that whole street for us. It was pretty impressive, actually. Yeah, yeah. it was. We were on top crazy. of a camper, and then we were in a camper. I don't know. It's all a blur. But I do yeah. remember our face on the pavement. <laughs> That's when Lost Girl turned into Scooby Doo. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love the clubhouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was, there was, it was always nice to be on location, but then it was always nice to come back to our studio, like the comfort. We were in the studio quite a bit. We were, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like the studio the best. It's yeah, same. Warm, it's easy. It's, and, and, yeah, it's convenient. You know yeah. where you're gonna be. You know, it's yeah. everything. Yeah. Sort of a controlled environment is nice. But we had an amazing production outside. designer. Like yeah, he yeah. brought, he just, brought, he brought yeah. He took it to the next level on no money all the time. Like it was just amazing. Yeah, was incredible. Amazing. Yeah. 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 I liked. Remember when we got to shoot out at that observatory? Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember what season that was, but there was like it was it was the one where um, um, Sean Doyle was in it, and we were we were yeah, like, Taft. He played Taft. Taft. I and then remember there was all that those one. Chambers. That was our, that was our finale. Yeah. I loved working with him. Yes. Oh, he's a great actor. He's, he's fantastic. Yeah, he's yeah. And I that episode is particularly special to me because I was pregnant with Sam and nobody knew. Mm -hmm. oh. So there was a there was a little little babe in that episode. Hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Did he get my, an IMDB credit? <laughs> he's not an IMDB credit. He's really like anti Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Boob enlargement provided by <laughs> 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 oh boy <laughs> that's great all right so our next question comes from steph what is a dream role or project for each of you that's a good question hmm. who wants to go first oh, gosh stumped yeah, I've got asked this last because, time, and I, know, I, I, I feel like, thought about like it. as as you get older in this business, there's a difference between your dream role and your dream job. <laughs> um, you'd like them to be one in the same, mm. and I think that's what I had on Lost Girl. So, you know, uh, a dream role, I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, you don't know until you see it, or you, you know, it, I don't, I don't know what that is, but. Hopefully the dream job and the dream role will will meet again. Yeah, that's a hard that's a hard question to to answer. Yeah, it is. It is a tough one, isn't it? I mean, sometimes when I'm watching shows, I'm like, oh, that'd be that'd be fun to do. Like I just finished watching White Lotus, which was uh, wow. brilliant, and I just finished watching uh, Made. Mm -hmm. You guys seen that with Andy McDowell and her real life daughter play oh. mother and daughter, and like. Both, both of them are, are brilliant and it's a really cool show. So sometimes when you're watching something, you're like, oh, that'd be fun to do. Yeah. So you guys are talking about like such real shows. I, I just want to like wear a wizard robe, ride a horse <laughs> through a European countryside and Thank shoot you. fireballs. <laughs> You've done that. <laughs> no, I want to do I that mean, to can't, a guy. Can't a guy just wear <laughs> a wizard <laughs> robe and ride a <laughs> horse for God's sake? God damn it. Yeah. Just like... Can't we just give this man that job? Haven't yeah. you had it? Wasn't Vikings that? Wasn't like uh, Vikings was hard and it was real. It was like, oh, I want to play. No fireballs. Oh, yeah, you no fireballs. Is no it more like? Are you thinking no more like Lord of the Rings? Yeah, or like yeah. you know, they're they're doing Wheel of Time right now, and God, I missed it. 
can get on it. Well, you know, I, I'd love to do I, a high, one of my dreams is to be hit by fireballs. Yeah. So I, I sense a really well. collaboration. Well, that was sort of um, well, dare to dream. That was Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Thank you. Well, if there's any casting directors out there that are casting for a wizard uh, who rides on a horse and shoot fireballs, Chris is available. And, can a sword. <laughs> and I can actually ride a horse. Uh, I'm more like I'm more like that espionage type stuff. Um, mm. You know. You want to be like a hitman? Or? Yeah, well, no, more like um, in a slaughterhouse. <laughs> Jason Collins for James Bond. <laughs> no, I, I like, like, like I watched a, a TV show called Fauda, which was great. Um, it's an Israeli show. Um, you know, but they, they have to sort of, they, I mean, they speak Arabic and, and Hebrew and they're just like, you know, they're, they're, it's just brilliant. It feels like playing a video game. It feels like playing a video game. I was going to say, I, I don't know if everyone knows the video game I was about to say, so forget it, but I, I like that espionage type stuff. So sort of like Chris, I get the European, you know, where I'm mm -hmm. doing it like maybe, you know, like running around like just born. Trying to infringe you know? on a restraining order with Ksenia, basically. Via yeah, you guys are <laughs> trying to get to Europe. The flights are blocked for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She went to Italy. Leave her alone. <laughs> oh, is that where she is? <laughs> Or am I I'm closing in? <laughs> Rick, uh, Emmanuel, you guys got uh, that, uh, yeah, that dream I'm, project? I'm with Chris with uh, with like wearing wizard like clothing and and um, and riding horses, and I too can actually ride a horse. So I, let's do a show together. You can really ride. I would love to do that. Yeah. Capes and stuff, and yeah. throw fireballs. I'd be down. Just. <laughs> Horses. That's what we just horses. Put it horses, horses. in there. Horses. Yeah. Uh, I'm with. I'm kind of with Anna. It just like, you know, and what Zoe said. It's like you see things and you're like, oh, that's I. I want to. I'd like to put that on, but, uh, but yeah, I don't have anything really specific except for maybe like you know high school teen drama, but that was like. <laughs> we all <laughs> <my God>. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, age uh, me down. Age me down. Hey, or let's do another lost girl, and instead of body switching, we'll do that. We'll go back to high school. There you go. Yes. Oh, I like that. A lot of CGI. I mean, they got CG. They did that movie with Will Smith where they made him look. Hello, yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's possible. But unfortunately, this is our time today. Uh, before we wrap up, do you guys have any last words to share to our fans watching at home? We well, love you. Sure. Yeah, we do. Yeah. 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 We love yeah. you and we miss seeing you guys in person. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. This feels really strange not being yeah. able to see. Yeah. Yeah. Because usually, you know, yeah. we have a crowd and we're interacting with them and it's yeah. such a great experience. All of our fans have been amazing over all the years. Thank you for coming on the journey with us. And yeah. so, absolutely. Yeah. Sharing yeah. love. We love yeah. you. And be well and stay safe. Platform. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. We're very, we're very blessed to be in this position to to have affected so many people that then share that with us. So I feel really grateful for that. And I'm so happy to see this cast. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say it's been my pleasure, my absolute pleasure to host for you today. Thank you for joining us on this GalaxyCon virtual stage. Uh, hopefully we can have a real stage soon. Yeah. Uh, and, and thank you to everybody watching at home, wherever you're watching. Thank you for all your great questions. Uh, and we hope to see you all again soon. Until then. Stay safe. Bye. From us. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that. There we go. There we go.